Hello there, my little fellows and my little ape. I could hardly wait to get to talk to you and tell you another story. I hope you have been eagerly waiting for me. Well, today the story is about a lesson which says sometimes simple things can make us happier than all the castles and the crowns and all the money in the world. Do you agree? Well, maybe you'll understand better if you come along with me and listen to the story. Here we begin. Once upon a time, a fisherman and his wife lived in a little cottage near a river. Every day, the fishermen went to the river and fished for their dinner. One day, the fisherman got a magical fish in his net. It said, Fisherman, I beg you to not let me live. I am not uh, really a fish. I am an enchanted prince. I am an enchanted prince. Please let me swim away. The fisherman quickly agreed to let the fish go. Say no more, said the fisherman. I am quite willing to set free a fish that can talk. Mm -hmm. And here is the fish the talking fish in the net and the fisherman talking to her. What a nice fellow he is, isn't it? He didn't ask for anything in return. But the fish said, for that I'll grant you a wish, said the fish. But the fisherman said there was nothing he needed. Hmm, what a contented man. So the fisherman let the fish go free. When he went home, his wife asked, Husband, what have you got for me to cook for our dinner today? I haven't brought anything home, he said. I did catch a big fish, but he claimed to be an enchanted prince, so I threw him back into the water. Oh dear, she said you might at least have made a wish before you set him free. I couldn't think of anything that we needed, replied her husband. What would you have wished for? He was wondering. Hmm. Well, have you ever thought of coming across a enchanted magical fish? And what would your wishes be? Hmm. Well, we certainly could use a nicer place to live. I'm sure that if you go back and ask the fish for a nicer house, he'll gladly give it to you. The fisherman did not really think they needed a nicer house, but he did as his wife asked, the good fellow that he is. The fisherman went to the river and called, Princely fish that I set free, hear my words and come to me. Just as soon as the fisherman had finished reciting this rhyme, the fish appeared. Why did you call me? The fish asked. The fisherman was a little nervous. Mm -mm. But he got up his nerve and answered, My wife would like to make a wish after all. And what is her fish? Wish, not fish, asked the fish. She doesn't want to live in a tiny cottage anymore, said the fisherman. She would li like to live in a nice home. Go home to your wife, said the fish. She already has her fish. Wish, I made the mistake again. Bear with me, thank you. The fisherman hurried back home. There was his wife waving from the doorway of a pretty new house. What a surprise. Would you like to see her? Okay, let, it's a big book. There you go. Can you see the wife waving from a bigger house? Hmm, has a winding path leading to it. Wow. Okay. The house was filled with everything they could probably need. Now we can be happy, the fisherman said. But a few days later, his wife said, Husband, this house is too small. We need more space. Go back to the river and ask the fish for a castle. Do you think she was right in doing that? She hadn't done anything to ask for a favor. Right. The fisherman wanted his wife to be happy, so he went back to the river and called. So what a nice husband he is. Princely fish that I set free, hear my words and come to me. 
again just as soon as the fisherman finished speaking the fish appeared now what asked the fish the fisherman thought the fish sounded just a tiny bit angry at last i must ask another favor of you the fisherman said regretfully it seems as though my wife now wants to live in a castle go home she's already there said the fish wow when the fisherman returned home his wife waved to him from the balcony of a huge castle its rooms were full of golden furniture and the tables were flowing with wonderful things to eat yum isn't everything beautiful the fisherman asked his wife she said yes it is he looked at all the things inside the magnificent castle the fisherman thought now that they must have everything they could possibly ever want so look at the castle now they live in see how big enormous and beautiful and purple but early the next morning the wife woke up frowning hmm hmm she said husband we live in a castle it is only right that we should be king and queen of all the land the fisherman really didn't want to be king but his wife insisted the unhappy fisherman finally gave in and went back to the river unwillingly once again the fisherman approached the spot where he had met the enchanted fish and once again he called out princely fish that i set free hear my words and come to me the fish appeared as before this time though the river and the sky seem to get darker why do you think so maybe they are not too happy and the sky and the river also agree with the fish now the he is fisherman and his wife are becoming too demanding the fisherman was sure the fish was unhappy but he asked his favor anyways i'm afraid my wife wants us to be king and queen said the fisherman go home she's already the queen said the fish sure enough when the fisherman arrived back at the castle his wife was sitting on a high gold throne now that you are queen said the fisherman surely you will not wish for anything more i'm not sure of all that said the queen i have a feeling there's something else we need oh that night the fisherman slept well because he's a happy and contented man his wife however lay awake tossing and turning she was busy wondering wondering what her next wish could be hmm hmm Mm. just as the wife was about to fall asleep the morning sun came up so i'll be right back as the morning sun is coming up 